हेलो नमस्कार न्यूज क्लिक के इस खास एपिसोड में आपका स्वागत है आज हम कतर में जारी फीफा वर्ल्ड कप की बात कर रहे हैं 20 नवंबर को कतर में जो काफी विवादों के बीच वर्ल्ड कप शुरू हुआ था उसमें अब हर टीम का ग्रुप स्टेज का पहला मैच हो चुका है और अब चीज जो तस्वीर है ग्रुप स्टेज की काफी साफ हो चुकी है आज हम डायरेक्टली कतर से हमारे साथ सिद्धांत जुड़ेंगे और आप तक हम सारी अपडेट्स कतर से लेकर आएंगे और आपको ये भी बताने की कोशिश करेंगे कि वहां का डायरेक्टली जो माहौल है वो क्या है आने वाले जो मैचेस हैं उसमें किस तरीके का माहौल रहने वाला है और जो सर्टेन चीजें बैन हुई थी जिसकी वजह से काफी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज अराउंड द ग्लोब इस वर्ल्ड कप के बारे में हुई हैं उसका अभी क्या स्थिति ग्राउंड पर बनी हुई है तो सिद्धांत सबसे पहले हम इसी पर बात करते हैं कि हमने देखा है कि फुटबॉल एक स्पोर्ट के तौर पर और फीफा भी हमेशा से रेजिस्टेंस को मतलब जाहिर करने का एक प्लेटफॉर्म रहा है कई लोगों के लिए और वो हमने कतर में भी देखा जब शुरू हुआ तो काफ़ी सारे प्रोटेस्ट हुए थे और काफ़ी ज़्यादा कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज इस वर्ल्ड कप को लेकर हमको देखने को मिल रही हैं तो आपने क्या देखा पिछले पाँच दिनों में जो कि वर्ल्ड कप शुरू हो चुका है क्या माहौल है वहाँ पर कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज़ को लेकर और बहुत ज्यादा ही अराउंड द ग्लोब थोड़ा सा विवाद हो गया था तो हाउ इज द मतलब व्हाट डू यू सी देयर ऑन द ग्राउंड या थैंक्स अतम इट्स बिन एक्चुअली द आई थिंक द मोस्ट पॉजिटिव सॉर्ट ऑफ सिनेरियो दैट हैज इमर्ज इज दैट दीस कन्वर्सेशंस आर हैपनिंग सो फ्रॉम द टाइम व्हेन 2010 में कतार को वर्ल्ड कप अवार्ड किया गया था तब से ही ये विवाद सॉर्ट ऑफ शुरू हुआ था and uh, suddenly from a country that had uh, very little in that sense footballing infrastructure seedha hi unhone decide kiya ki you know world cup host kar rahe hain hum usse fir 2011 mein unhone actually asian cup host kiya tha to aur india bhi khel raha tha us tournament mein kafi saalon baad to 2011 mein main pichli baar aaya tha doha Uh, तो पिछले दस साल में काफ़ी बदल गया है सिटी स्केप लैंडस्केप यहाँ का जो पहले इसेंशली डेजर्ट लैंडस्केप था अभी उसका हाल काफ़ी काफ़ी चेंज हुआ है एंड इसको चेंज करने में ऑब्वियसली काफ़ी बड़ा हाथ रहा है लोगों का लेबर का जो मोस्टली साउथ एशिया से आया है साउथ एंड साउथ ईस्ट एशिया से आया है एंड ऑफकोर्स वी आर अवेयर ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ कंडीशन एंड इशूज दैट हैव कम अप including more than 6 and a half thousand people definitely uh, mostly men from south asia who have died in constructing uh, the infrastructure around this world cup so 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 uh, in our first conversations or my first conversations here have been with people who have been working here uh, over 95% of the workforce is a migrant workforce in this country right uh, because uh, locals are a few in number and be uh, quite rich so they choose not to and they tend not to do uh, too much work <laughs> so 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 all of the work is essentially across the board whether it's uh, straight up uh, manual labor or even high end jobs are done by people from outside and and 25% of the population of uh, residents here is from india itself so therefore it's very easy to have conversations Uh, to talk to people uh, across the spectrum and understand what's happening so so one of the clear impacts has been that the conditions of for labor because like you were mentioning uh, because it's a global platform because global conversations are happening because there's global media attention things have changed and improved dramatically uh, for example i was talking to some uh, cleaning staff at uh, at you know a couple of stadiums that we have uh, already attended and and they were saying salaries have improved living conditions have improved uh, of course there are still basic rights labor rights that are not granted to people here the right to unionize uh, the right to actually voice your sort of opposition or stage protests uh, those things are not uh, permitted here so so that, that and of course then around around that because of this media attention several other controversies and issues whether it's lgbtq rights uh like we talk about the the protest movement in iran that's happening uh and and of course the clear conflict uh, lines have been drawn here mm. between the west the eurocentric sort of uh, orientalist world view uh and you know the the rest of us who actually live <laughs> in these conditions uh so so uh, i guess 
the foundation or, or, or the, the, the battle lines in that sense have been drawn. And, and now it's up to us uh, to figure out how to take those conversations forward and see where, where we go from here. Uh, हम इसी पे एल से मैं आपको uh, वहाँ से मैं बात शुरू करता हूँ जब हम टीम्स की बात कर रहे हैं तो हमने देखा है कि जर्मनी का uh, अपने पहले मैच में जो जापान के साथ मैच था उसमें uh, एक साइलेंट प्रोटेस्ट था तो अभी ये बात आ रही है मेन मेरा सवाल ये है कि डेनमार्क के बारे में कहा जा रहा है कि यू नेशंस के साथ जो है वो इसको बॉयकॉट कर सकता है मतलब ये कितना जो है सच है इन मिडल ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड कप जहाँ पर बत्तीस टीमें हैं वहाँ पर अगर बात हो रही है कि पाँच छः टीमें निकल सकती हैं तो ये क्या है पूरा सीन क्या है इसका आई एट दिस स्टेज आई डोंट थिंक एनी ऑफ दीज टीम्स आर इंटेंडिंग एट ऑल टू पैक अप एंड लीव राइट ऐसा होना बहुत मुश्किल है आई थिंक एंड देर इज सो मच मोर एट स्टेक पर्टिकुलरली इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी सो सो दिस इंटायर कॉन्वर्सेशन नीड्स टू बी पुट इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ बिग फुटबॉल Uh, big money and uh, you know how, how all of that functions right uh, all of these countries knew the scenario uh, for have known the scenario for the last 12 years hmm. so it is not something that aaj hi inko pata chala uh, ki aisa haal hai ya ya yahi dikkatein hain uh, fifa itself uh, like all electoral politics is based on vote banks and uh, and the president and uh, other uh, functionaries are elected uh, the current president is of course jani infantino we all heard the speech that he made <laughs> saying that he is he is all kinds of things it was a bit bizarre but he did make a, a very valid point uh, that you know europe needs to un- understand accept its own hypocrisy a little bit its own double standards a little bit and also uh, sort of uh understand and accept that there is a larger world uh, that that doesn't necessarily accept a eurocentric uh, way of functioning uh, and uefa and fifa have always had this fight uh, because it's essentially a question of money there is one tournament that makes uh, a huge amount of revenue for fifa and that is the men's world cup unfortunately uh, so in a four year cycle if you look at fifa's financial statements uh, the only thing that makes a profit is Uh, this event that is currently happening everything else is a uh, is where you spend then that money right so uh, in that context uefa always wants to because the uefa champions league and the uefa uh, european championships are also huge money spinners they consistently want to uh, dominate uh, whether it's in terms of media rights whether it's in terms of advertising and whether it's in terms of hosting and and sort of uh, you know maximizing the kind of profit that they make out of this whole revenue cycle uh, fifa of course has a different point of view on it uh, because they they are a separate entity and and they want to take the profit for themselves so no one is really in it for uh, either the good of the game hmm. or uh, sort of a, a, a any kind of ground up movement to have these kind of conversations create real inclusivity uh no no none of that it really has to be uh, this is the world cup of capitalism to so, uh, hum games ki baat kar lete hain jo bhi abhi humne dekha ki group stage mein uh, ek ek game har team ka ho chuka hai sari 32 teamon ne pehla game khel liya hai apna aur jo bade sabse bada upset obviously argentina and saudi arabia aur uske alawa hum ye bhi dekh rahe hain ki jo asian countries hain uh, jaise japan ne haraya germany ko ya saudi arabia ne haraya uh, uh, kal ka jo match tha usko draw kara le gaya south korea तो ये जो हम चीज़ देख रहे हैं इसके बारे में और ये जो सबसे बड़ा अपसेट यही जो अर्जेंटीना वाला गेम है ऑब्वियसली उसके बारे में कुछ बात कीजिए और दोनों फिर हम पॉइंट्स टेबल को भी देखते हैं कि हर ग्रुप में आ, क्या चल रहा है ठीक है या uh, yeah, uh, मतलब सो टूर्नामेंट शुरू होने से पहले एक कॉलीग से मेरी बात हो रही थी फेलो जर्नलिस्ट से बात हो रही थी जो हमारे यहाँ से ही है और वो थोड़ा ये आ, बोल रही थी कि यू नो एशियन कंट्रीज और बाकी सब में इतना बड़ा गैप है ये है वो है एंड लाइक दे आर जस्ट मेकिंग अप द नंबर्स इन द सेंस कि सिर्फ पार्टिसिपेट करने आए हैं कोई उम्मीद नहीं है इनमें से आ, किसी देश से या किसी टीम से क्लियरली दैट हैज बिन थ्रोन आउट ऑफ द विंडो एंड आई थिंक इन दैट सेंस जो शुरुआत हुई है इस वर्ल्ड कप की काफी मजेदार शुरुआत हुई है 
Uh, nobody in the world, not even the Saudis, expected uh, that result <laughs> against Argentina. You know, there, there's a there's a there's a great meme uh, <laughs> going around about the goat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Messi. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it, it is uh, sort of a challenging scenario. Uh, Eve Renard, who's the coach, uh, is a French coach. Uh, of the Saudi team was saying that it, it is challenging for the top players in the world to find perhaps the motivation to pump themselves up, particularly in the opening game of a tournament, to play against a team that you don't expect to really do much against you. Uh, of course, Argentina received a, you know s- celestial slap in that sense, a uh, wake-up call, and they have still the tournament is very much open. We have to remember that. Uh, in a sporting context, this is a long tournament, a month long tournament. And the biggest thing is that you put everything in the first match mein tar sab kuch laga dete on the line. So, in uh, Saudi game, there were 6 yellow cards for Saudi players, ko, two players injured. So, what will they do in the next match? Kya kar paenge, kya kar There's a question mark around that. They still, I think, have the quality to do it. But, you never know. Uh, with Saudi, not maybe so much. Uh, I don't really expect them to continue. Uh, although, statistically, if you look the the only teams that have uh, beaten Argentina in the past in this kind of opener have gone on to either play in the finals of the World Cup or win the World Cup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so uh, but like the coach was saying, uh, you know, let's not get carried away, keep our feet on the ground and take it one match at a time. Of course, these are all cliches, uh, but... Uh, and the players will be flying, and that confidence that they they will bring to the matches uh, will, of course, add a different kind of uh, flavor to the rest of the tournament. But overall, for the Asian teams, except for Qatar, who are currently playing against uh, Senegal uh, as we speak, uh, except for Qatar, they have, I think, all the Asian teams have uh, demonstrated that the gap that the, that exists, and it clearly exists uh, between. Whether it's African countries or European countries or Latin American countries and the Asian continent is somewhat reducing, at least at this level. Uh, we also have to remember that, just a bhi ye team in Asia se khel rahi hai, jo World Cup mein, uh, unke beach aur jo baaki Asian countries hai, unke unke beach bahut bada gap hai. Uh, bas hum uh, group table dekh lete hain, then your concluding remarks I'll uh, take. To abhi hamare pas Spain ne saat goal kiye hain, sabse bada match wo tha Spain aur uh, Costa Rica ka. Kal Portugal do teen se jeeta hai, par wo Ghana ka last wala sab log keh rahe hain ki last minute goal wo ho sakta tha. Aur hamare uh, pas phir अब आने वाले मैचेस जो हैं दूसरे दूसरे मैच सबके शुरू हो गए हैं ईरान का आज दूसरा मैच था और अब 2-0 से वेल्स को ईरान ने हरा दिया है तो अब जो नए मतलब दूसरे दूसरे मैच जो होंगे ग्रुप्स के उसमें आ, क्या लग रहा है कि मतलब अब कौन सी टीम एक तरह से कमबैक जो कि पहले मैचेस में नहीं कर पाई है वो बस कंक्लूडिंग रिमार्क्स उसके बाद फिर हम आ, इसको जो है खत्म करेंगे Haan, yeah. uh, so, so G- Germany, I guess, would be uh, first up, right? So, a different scenario, they're playing Spain next. Uh, of course, that is uh, billed as one of the biggest games of uh, the group stages. Because Dono team uh, you know, are among the best in the world. And, and Spain, in that sense, is also very interesting because they play without an out-and-out striker as such. And yet, they, they score uh, seven goals in the opening match, right? So, so again, it demonstrates that kind of uh, collective tactical planning and how any player essentially can play in any position and, and score goals. Uh, Costa Rica, unfortunate, and they will not be looking forward to their other two games uh, either because they are playing Japan and Germany. So, this is a really, really difficult group for, for Costa Rica. And they, they are probably, uh, at this stage, the whipping boys in that sense of, of this tournament. Uh, it's up to Germany to make a, make a comeback. Argentina as well. Argentina have have a relatively uh, easier, I, I suppose, path ahead because uh, they play Mexico uh, and then Poland <laughs> and then Poland. Yeah, and Poland is a team that never really comes to a big tournament to play somehow. 
they have Rob Lewandowski, of course, who also missed a penalty. Uh, but somehow, as a as a team, they always seem a bit iffy. I mean, they're in it only because uh, Russia was thrown out, uh, banned from the tournament, which should also be, a, I guess, a talking point at some stage. Uh, <laughs> but but uh, but yeah, so so Argentina, in that sense, I think have the possibility of still winning their next two games. And and the good thing is, uh, after the loss against Saudi. They have to win the next two games, so they will play a, a little more open, expansive football. So for neutral fans like us, who are just in it to watch, you know, some fun football, uh, it will be a lot more attacking. It will be a lot more interesting to watch uh, because no one will hold back and say, "Oh, let's play out a nil-nil and be happy." I think the favourites have to be uh, the the normal guys, you know, uh, France, uh, Spain, uh, Brazil to an extent, uh, and then. जापान चलिए तो ऑन दिस नोट हम इसको यहाँ पर करते हैं वाइंड अप और हम आने वाले हफ्ते में जब हम uh, मिल रहे होंगे तो काफ़ी चीज़ें जो है ग्रुप स्टेज की साफ हो चुकी होंगी और मे बी हम सुपर 16 भी uh, शुरू हमारा हो चुका होगा तो थैंक यू सो मच सिद्धांत आप हमारे साथ जुड़े रहिए और कतर से जो भी अपडेट्स हैं हम अपने दर्शकों को आपके जरिए पहुँचाते रहेंगे फीफा वर्ल्ड कप कतर में चालू है बीस नवम्बर से अट्ठारह दिसंबर को फाइनल होने वाला है देखना है कि आने वाले मैच में क्या माहौल रहता है तो कतर से जुड़ी सारी अपडेट्स हम आप तक डायरेक्टली कतर से लाते रहेंगे और बाकी खबरों के लिए जुड़े रहिए न्यूज क्लिक के साथ हमको सब्सक्राइब कीजिए हमारा सब्सक्रिप्शन लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में है देखने के लिए शुक्रिया